Giora, Ed here, on my own today, putting the intro and stuff together. This weekend we decided we'd have a bit of an explore around the Banks Peninsula. We've previously visited Akaroa, so I'm going to show you a few little clips of that, but most of the day we spent going around Littleton, Diamond Harbour and Governor's Bay, the main spots we stopped off at. So have a little look, we also on the way back stopped at Sumner Beach, lovely little sandy beach looking out into the Pacific, so let's have a look and see what we got up to. Located just south of Christchurch is the Banks Peninsula. It looks an awful lot like a crab claw. Money! Well, we've previously gone on top of the peninsula and had a look at a few bits. We've gone up the gondola in the past um, and we also have gone up Victoria Park, I think it is called. But there's a communication station right at the top and there's some walks all the way up. The Harry Ells track, I believe it is, and a few more around there. Uh, this time, we wanted to go all the way through. The quickest way to get through from Christchurch is to go through the tunnel. And there's a tunnel from Christchurch to Littleton. Really easy road, to be honest. It was a lot closer than I thought. I felt like it was going to be sort of like half an hour away, but it was like 10 minutes and we were through. And you come through into Littleton, it's quite obvious that Littleton is a port town. There's not much there apart from cruise ships, Lots of cranes for getting stuff that's being imported into New Zealand off of them. Uh, we didn't really grab any footage from there because it was just sort of manic and there was just too many people around. It was kind of like, yeah, let's kind of get somewhere quieter. So it wasn't quite our vibe. So we grabbed some lunch in one of the bakeries and then hopped in the car and headed off towards Governor's Bay. Governor's Bay is located a bit around the coast. It's quite a nice drive. It's quite a slow drive as in it's got a nice slow speed limit so you're not feeling like you're being rushed and it's quite twisty and windy. Got really good views all the way out, sort of over the bay. In the bay, there's lots of boats, lots of sailboats and stuff like that. And all across like the hills, you've got these just little homes dotted around. Governor's Bay has got this incredibly long jetty that goes out into the sea. It, there's actually a sign sort of at the start of it saying, sponsor a plank. So they were obviously having issues with maintenance of it, so they needed to raise some money. And the way they did it was you can buy buy a plank and you get a little plaque on the on the plank on the jetty and away you go. Which was a really cool little incentive and idea. Headed out on the jetty, had a good look round, and then we saw a path sort of that seemed like it was following the coastline, like you know, one of those really nice ones where you've got the water like just next to you and you can just go, walk and it's just open, lovely views over it. So we decided let's go along here and just see what we can find. We ended up going a fair way round, I think further than either of us thought we were going to. So we were walking round and we saw this weird fin. I don't, I've got, I recorded the footage but I didn't have a zoom lens, so I, which is annoying because I wish I had it with me because it would have been great to zoom in and just see what it was, but it looked like a fin and the Hector's dolphins are only in New Zealand and they're really short. I think they're only like 1.2 meters. We're not sure if it was maybe one of them, but it wasn't really moving around very much and you could just see this little sort of black round fin, which I know that's what they're meant to look like. Sort of keep coming in and out of the water, but who knows. We got to this sculpture garden, headed back to the car and drove on to Diamond Harbor. Diamond Harbor seemed to be sort of like split into two bits. You had kind of like quite a nice residential area and then a bit further around was this area that seemed to sort of be like just for the ferry and also there was a little shop and restaurant and a cemetery nearby. That's where we stopped off, stopped off at the parking, potted down to the boat jetty, had a look at the boats coming in and out and the water's just so blue. From Diamond Harbour as well you have great views across to Littleton so you could see the cruise ship and all the other works and all the houses going up onto that part of the peninsula. I had a little pot around, there was a nice little coastal walk as well that took you sort of just like north? No, east? West, east, <laughs> I'll get there. <laughs> that took you like east and round and up to a nice viewpoint out to the ocean. At this point it was getting on a little bit so we decided let's just drive all the way back round because unfortunately there's no bridge across the top or anything like that at the end you do have to go back round. Weren't sure if we were going to stop off at Godly Head. Um, we did accidentally take the turning down towards it but I know the campsite was shut and there was a few other bits like the military barracks and stuff has been shut because there's like high levels of asbestos so we were like mm, 
not sure it's worth it. We've already done a few walks and bits and kind of wanted to get back. We headed down this road, there's sheep on the side of the road and everything. We actually had a massive sheep crossing going on as well. It looked like they'd been freshly shorn, freshly sheared, shorn, sheared, whichever one it is. And there was also paragliders, which we were completely unexpected. We had no idea they were gonna be there. So we stopped, had a little look, watched them do their thing for a bit. Headed back in the car, straight back down, down a lovely road. I mean, that's one thing about New Zealand, right? The roads are so nice, because you've got so many hills, you've got like, like nice windy ones, but also they're really quiet, so you don't have to worry about traffic. At the bottom, got into Sumner, which is just south of New Brighton, little river outlet, the Avon River outlet. That is sort of between the two. So headed down to Sumner, chilled on the beach for a bit, went through this really cool cave rock, which has got a sort of some kind of monument on the top. Didn't really see anything that said what it was. Um, but you can just walk through it and get through to the other side of the beach. There was this rock that had all these mussels on as well that were obviously growing. They were much too small, like this kind of big, rather than that big, where they're edible. On the beach as well there were seagulls, but the seagulls here do the thing where they pick up a shell, fly high, drop it on the ground to see what happens. So that was cool, watching them do that with moderate success and also making sure they keep an eye on, the, on their shell it doesn't get stolen by their friends. And then yeah, we headed home, and that's kind of the end of our day. But other things that you can do on the Banks Peninsula, now Akaroa is located about an hour and a half, two hour drive away from the centre of Christchurch, and it's a little French colony, uh, and that's really nice. It's a lovely little town, it is hidden away. You've got a nice lighthouse, Again, unfortunately that was under renovation repairs when we were there but it's just a lovely little port, lots of restaurants and stuff. So if you wanted like an evening out or something, it might be a nice spot to go. Uh, you can do dolphin watching and stuff from the pier there. Not sure on the prices of it. We've never really looked into it too much, but it's a lovely little spot on the drive there as well. You get some absolutely fantastic views around the peninsula. And yeah, because Akaroa is basically located at the, the tip of the crab claw bit. So it's kind of the opposite side to Littleton and stuff like that. So yeah, that's that's what we've explored on the Banks Peninsula. There's definitely going to be more to see. There is a like a scenic route on the way to Akaroa that I definitely recommend if you're confident at driving. It's a lot nicer in terms of the views you get because you're all the way up on top of the peninsula. So you actually get views off on both sides as opposed to just being driving around the bottom, and which, well, the views are still pretty good. It's not quite the same as being up the top. That's our little video about our day out in the Banks Peninsula and a few things that you might consider doing when you're there. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.